Hello. This video will help you learn how to create a folder on the desktop and then to use Google Images to find pictures to put in that folder to be used for presentations or for any other purpose. So here I am. This is my desktop. Please admire the beautiful picture. It's called a thunderstorm cell cloud. Really incredible. I have a lot of icons on my desktop, but don't worry about that for now. We're going to create a new one right away. So on the desktop, what we need to do is to differentiate between left clicks and right clicks. On your mouse you have two buttons. The one on the left is a left click, the other is a right click. If you have to click twice, I'm going to call that a double click. Okay, so we're going to start on the desktop. I'm going to go to anywhere in a clear space on the desktop, and I'm going to do a right click. Now that I've right clicked, I have a drop down menu to choose from. I'm going to go down below here and I'm going to choose new. I'll wait for a moment. It's going to give me some more options. Alright, now there's a lot of things to choose from here, but I'm going to go up to the very top of the list. Your list may look a little different from mine, and I'm going to choose folder. I'm creating a new folder. Now, if you look down here, you'll see the new folder has been created. And the first thing that I need to do is to give it a new name. So I'm going to type in my name, Paul. And I'm going to add the name of a topic that I'm using for an imaginary presentation. The topic is Solazyme. Solazyme is an interesting green technology where they turn algae, well rather they don't turn algae, but algae makes oil through a biological process. Fascinating stuff. So they take algae and they can make oil out of it. It's a wonderful idea. Now I've typed in the title, Paul Solazyme, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a left click on a clear space. Now that I've done that, my folder is saved and it has a new name. So now that I have my folder, what I'm going to do is open the internet and go to Google. I already have the internet open here. You can use whichever browser you prefer. I'm going to open this up and I've got Google Canada. Now for research purposes, I could search. That will give me information from the web. I could use images to find pictures. I can use maps, of course, to find maps. And then there are other options as well. For this video, we're going to be using mostly images. But just for the example, we'll start at search and I'm going to type in the name here in the search bar. Solazyme. Okay, now I'll hit enter and I'll see my search results. As you can see, this is probably the company website, solazyme.com. Down below is an entry from Wikipedia and then down below we start to see some other types of articles. This one, investors, looks like it's about money, probably uh, investing. Down below on Twitter, I see here something more about finance, information from Yahoo Finance, stock reports and these kinds of things. So there's lots of different things to find, and lots of different things to see if you're looking for more information. However, for this video I'm looking for pictures, so now I can click on images here, or I could click on images here. Now I still have the same search term, sole design, but now I'm getting picture results. Now for my presentation, I want a few different things. I want a picture of algae to show people what that is. And I like this one here because it's on the hand. So I'm going to do a left click on this picture. And it's going to take me to a larger version. From here, what I need to do is I need to do a right click on this picture. Do my right click. It's going to open another drop down menu for me. My computer is a little slow. And here it comes. I'm going to go up the menu and I'm going to choose Save Picture As. 
left click save picture as and this will open a new box where I can decide where to save this picture and of course we're going to choose the folder that we just created on the desktop here's my save picture box now these are my photos I don't want to save it there so I'm going to choose from the side menu here desktop this will take me to my desktop and from there I'm going to choose my folder Paul Solazheim now here I need to do a double click a double left click this will open up my folder down here I see file name now this is important good thing to do is to put a number first if it's the first picture you want in a slideshow if you add a number it will order them by number Alj Solazheim that seems okay to me this doesn't mean anything to me so I'm going to delete that and I'm going to save this in my folder save in Paul Solazheim file name 1 Alj Solazheim and I click save you can see down below here that the type is a JPEG that's fine with me so I'll click save excellent now I want to go back to my Google search results so I'm going to click on back and I'm back at my Google image search results now on this page I also wanted something to show the uh, process and something to show what can be made into this uh, this oil so I found this picture earlier I like it a lot I'm going to click on that one this picture shows what can be used as food for the algae and then the algae eats the food and through a process creates the oil which can then be turned into different things such as fuels chemicals nutritionals and skin and personal care products like cosmetics interesting diagram very simple and easy to follow so again I'm going to do a right click this time I'm going to choose save picture as just like I did before it's going to open up my uh, save picture box and you'll see that it's now back to Paul Solazheim's folder it's remembering what we had before I look below though and this name doesn't suit my purposes so I'm going to move this and I need to add something here I'm going to put here biotechnology platform now it has the number two I'm going to delete it from the end and I'm going to put it at the beginning because this is the second picture that I would like to have so I've created a file name save as type notice this is a different file type it's still a picture but that's why we don't see the other picture here saving in Paul Solazheim my new folder file name is good I'm going to click save now I want one more picture so I'm going to click on back again gone back to Google images the next picture I want is a picture of the process I found this picture earlier and it suits my purposes click on this one it's a very simple diagram shows you the process where the algae converts the uh, food that it's been given into the algal oil which can then become these other types of oil products it's a good picture it's simple and easy to explain I'm going to do a right click on this picture I'm going to again choose save picture as opens up my save picture box save in Paul Solazheim my new folder file name Solazheim technology graph that sounds good to me I'm going to add a number three at the beginning this is my third picture so now they'll be placed in order when I open them in a slideshow now again notice a different type this time GIF so we've seen different types of files we don't see the others because it's only looking for this type I'm going to save it now I have the pictures that I want I can close my Google if I'd like I'll leave that open for later minimize that now I can come to my new folder that I've created on the desktop do a double left click this will open the folder 
and we see the three pictures that I found online. Now from here, I can use them in different ways. I can click on them to open them. I can show them in a slideshow. I can do many different things. In class, what we'll be doing is we'll be taking your folder and we'll be saving it on a memory stick so that we can use it in the classroom when we do our presentations. I hope you found this video useful and that you have a good time finding your pictures when I see you in the computer lab. Thanks very much.